Yeoman reporting for Katie Chats here at the Toronto Youth Shorts Film Festival in downtown Toronto with filmmaker Christian Lapid. How does it feel to have your film TGIF here at the festival? Oh, it feels, uh, it feels wonderful. I mean, I got the uh, email unexpectedly. Uh, I, I submitted my film in and uh, I didn't expect to get accepted in. So once I, once I received that email, I was very excited. How did you hear and find out about the festival? Uh, I was doing Google searches for festivals around Toronto and one of the first ones that came up was the Toronto Youth Short Film Festival. So I, immediate, I immediately checked that out and um, did some searching on their webpage and found a uh, submission guidelines. And yeah, basically I jumped at the chance to uh, submit my film in, to this fel festival. What was the inspiration behind the making of your film? The inspiration behind the making of my film was basically my cousin who I uh, usually babysit so while at home nothing to do this idea came to mind oh um, let's 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 use let's have my cousin participate in this film and kind of fictionalize something that happens in his daily life for real mm. and make it a little bit you know funny and it, I just thought it would be a great idea to um, I guess just have my fa family part of something that I love so and to entertain them and to uh, yeah just uh, take on a project that is productive and full of creativity. What does your family think of the film? I think they love it. Uh, yeah. I showed it at I showed I showed it to everyone at Christmas. So at Christmas we had everyone uh, gathered who was part of the film. So I think I think they liked it. They thought it was a great professional production, and um, uh, hopefully they were genuinely happy about the experience too. Because I kind of like you know directing is a little bit of a, a push. So I think, um, yeah, they love to be a part of it and I'm glad they were. Was this the first project that you directed? Yes, it actually is the first project that I directed. Okay, and how did you find the whole process? Did everything run smoothly? I, I want to shoot again just right away. It ran, it ran um, as smoothly as I had hoped. Um, there were a lot of anticipation of what would go on. So on the day of the shoot, on the days of this shoot, um, we managed to pull through some problems and... Uh, no, not major problems, but just, you know, work within the space that we have and with it, within the time that we have. Uh, you know, as most filmmakers would probably say, they'd probably want, you know, an unlimited amount of time. But, uh, yeah, so we pulled off and got the shots that we needed. And, um, yeah, I wouldn't, I, if, if, we ha if I had to go back and shoot it again, you know, we'd do uh, things more efficiently, but I'm pretty happy with the way, it, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And you are so young to have made this film that's here in the in a great festival here in Toronto. What are your goals for the future? Tiff. <laughs> Can. Um, well, uh, my goals for the future is just to keep uh, doing what I'm doing, which is coming up with new ideas and trying to find a feasible way to execute them. Uh, you know, there's a lot of ideas, but how, you know, they, how do you do it, right? But uh, yeah, I'd like to just keep shooting. And where's the best place to find out more information on your film online? Uh, online, you could find my, I guess, the Toronto Youth Short Film Festival website. Perfect. Great. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Christian, and enjoy the rest of the festival. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats here at the Toronto Youth Shorts Film Festival in downtown Toronto.